the most abundant element on the planet. When hydrogen is burned, the only byproduct is water vapor. But hydrogen is locked inside molecules such as water and has to be separated, and that takes energy. So-called green hydrogen is made using renewable power like solar or wind. Transported in gas or liquid form, it has the potential to cut carbon emissions from heavy transport sectors like airlines, shipping and trucking. But it's not straightforward. The main problem with hydrogen is that it's the lightest element known in the periodic table, so it can leak through any pore or tiny breach. It's flammable and could ignite with a spark. What's tricky about hydrogen flames is that they're not visible, so it's important to have leak detectors. The largest hydrogen plant in Europe opened here in Puerto Llano last year, an hour train ride from Madrid, using support from the European Recovery Fund. The plant was designed to produce green hydrogen for industrial use. Solar panels generate up to 100 megawatts of power. That energy is split between supplying electricity to the grid and powering an electrolyzer which helps produce hydrogen that powers the giant fertilizer plant next door. This plant uses electrolysis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. It is costly, requiring huge investment, but industry leaders are hoping that the scaling up of this clean technology will lead to it becoming more viable worldwide. Green hydrogen has a funding gap. Uh, it's expensive, but we expect by 2030 to be more competitive due to the price of the equipment and also with the help of the subsidies expected from the Spanish government and the European Union as the uh, innovation fund. A global green hydrogen race has already begun. Spain and France recently announced the Barmar pipeline from Barcelona to Marseille, envisioned to carry large quantities of green hydrogen from Spain and Portugal to mainland Europe. China is also investing heavily in the technology. It's still too early to say whether hydrogen will power the great green revolution, but investment and innovation are constantly pushing it towards greater viability. Ken Brown, CGTN, Puerto Llano.